Imagine sitting on the beach and watching the waves as you sip a tasty bevy. Just thinking of it makes us relax. It's been proven that staring at the sea has a positive effect on our brain waves, luring us into a mild meditative state. Watching these videos, however, could affect you quite differently. If these 20 beach moments were not filmed, no one would believe it. The quicksand. Like us, the first thing you might think about with this one is cartoons. But you can't have a beach without sand. But what about quicksand? In Morecambe Bay, where vacation dreams and picturesque views collide, a group of holiday makers found themselves in a sticky situation. Just as the rapidly rising tide threatened to wash away their hopes of a relaxing day at the beach, the unsuspecting quartet became unwitting victims of the treacherous sands. As the waves tauntingly licked at the sandbank they were stranded on, panic ensued. Time was of the essence, and their cries for help echoed through the salty sea air. But little did they know that their saviors were about to emerge from the most unexpected of places. Talk about a tricky situation. We wouldn't even know how to react. Jeanette Hamer, the quick-thinking landlady of Ye old Fighting Cox, who's happened to hear the desperate screams from her bedroom at the Shoreline Inn, ignoring the pain in her left knee, she bravely ventured onto the sandy battlefield, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Alas, even heroes have their stumbling blocks. Quite literally in this case, Ms. Hamer tripped and ended up with a knee injury that would have sent mere mortals crying for their mothers. But she was made of sturdier stuff. With unwavering determination and a phone clutched in her hand, she continued to coordinate the rescue efforts, even while writhing in agony. Paramedics arrived to tend to Jeanette's injured knee, applying seven stitches to the three-centimeter wound. But her commitment to the cause never wavered. She remained on the line, veritable beacon of strength, guiding the emergency response team with the precision of a seasoned commander. This is the tale that's going to keep us up at night for sure. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. Man's drone camera caught something terrifying on the beach. Mer people, specifically a mermaid, whether this is just major mythology or an actual oddity before our eyes, we can all agree this is a little scary. Mermaids, those half-human, half-fish sirens of the sea, are legendary sea creatures. The ancient Greek epic poet Homer wrote of them in the Odyssey. In the ancient Far East, mermaids were the wives of powerful sea dragons and served as trusted messengers between their spouses and the emperors on land. The aboriginal people of Australia call mermaids yok yoks, a name that may refer to their mesmerizing songs. The belief in mermaids may have arisen at the very dawn of our species, magical female figures that first appear in cave paintings in the Stone Age period, some 30,000 years ago, when modern humans gained dominion over the land and, presumably, began to sail the seas. Now, because of drones, we're seeing things that might be missed on a boat. Should we be worried? Leave a comment below, hashtag sweet topic. Treasure. If only we could find treasure like this next man. Enter the wacky world of YouTube, where the unexpected becomes the norm and everyday activities are transformed into online spectacles. In the latest video from the renowned YouTuber Bondi Treasure Hunter, viewers are treated to an adventure like no other. Armed with a trusty metal detector and an uncanny ability to stumble upon lost treasures, our intrepid hero embarks on a beachcombing escapade. With each triumphant beep of his gadget, he unearths a coin after coin after coin, transforming the sandy shore into a hidden treasure trove. Who knew that beach days could be so lucrative? It kind of makes us want to head out there right now, even though the weather isn't right. The video leaves us wondering if we've been wasting our time sunbathing instead of hunting for buried riches. Throughout the annals of history, humans have displayed an insatiable appetite for treasure hunting. From ancient civilizations to modern-day adventures, the allure of stumbling upon hidden riches has never waned. From sunken ships to secret vaults, these audacious seekers have left no stone unturned in their quest for wealth. Armed with maps, metal detectors, and a pinch of sheer luck, they've scoured land and sea, unearthing glittering gems and long-forgotten artifacts. It seems that no matter the era, humans possess an uncanny ability to sniff out the scent of fortune. So, 
Whether you're a pirate of the Caribbean or a suburban hobbyist, remember, there's treasure to be found. Just make sure you're digging in the right place and don't forget to bring a shovel and a sense of humor along for the ride. Jellyfish in the tranquil coastal town of Pembrokeshire. Say that name five times, a rather sticky situation unfolded as the local beach found itself overrun by an unexpected horde of gelatinous invaders. Yeah, you guessed it, jellyfish. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but in this case, it's worth at least a hundred jellyfish sightings. How much that translates into American dollars, we have no idea. As Wise Man's Bridge Beach became the chosen playground for these oceanic creatures, onlookers couldn't help but marvel at the sight. It was a jellyfish extravaganza, with these peculiar beings spread out like beach blankets, claiming their sandy territory. With temperatures on the rise and school breaks in full swing, it seemed the jellyfish had decided to join the summer festivities. Who needs beach towels and picnic baskets when you have an army of barrel jellyfish to keep you company. Their oversized presence added an extra dose of excitement to the already bustling shoreline. These barrel jellyfish, known for their surprising size and abundance in Welsh waters, made a grand entrance, underestimating the power of tides and waves. After all, they might have elegant frilled arms and tiny mouths, but no one warned them about the treacheries of coastal conditions. Despite their stingy reputation, these robust creatures made quite the spectacle. Their eight arms, resembling something between a fashionable ruffle and a fierce warrior's battle gear, showcased their unique charm. It was as if they had arrived for a fancy underwater swore way, but ended up crashing a beach party instead. Plane landing in the sunny paradise of St. Martin, a place where we wouldn't mind vacationing and also where beachgoers seek relaxation pilots seek thrilling adventures. Because there exists a spectacle that combines the best of both worlds, the airplane landings at the famous Sunset Beach Bar, it's a sight that turns sunbathing into a high-flying experience and beachside cocktails into adrenaline-infused refreshments. As the sun begins to descend, casting a golden glow over the shimmering waters, tourists and locals gather at the Sunset Beach Bar, ready to witness the daring feats of aviation. The bar becomes a buzzing hub of excitement, with people eagerly scanning the skies, waiting for the next aircraft to make its dramatic approach. Suddenly, a rumble fills the air and all eyes turn towards the horizon. The first plane comes into view, descending gracefully like a majestic seagull, preparing to make an epic splash. Cameras click away, capturing the surreal moment where a mass of aircraft seems to graze the sandy beach sending beach umbrellas and cocktails into a comical frenzy. Admit it, we set the scene pretty nicely there. Cheers and applause erupt from the crowd as the plane touches down, skillfully guided by a pilot who probably feels like the star of their own action movie. It's a scene that defies logic. Where else can you sip a mojito while a jumbo jet passes just a stone's throw away? Strange light. Ah, the wonders of meteorological oddities. According to the Reverend Guinness World Records, we find ourselves diving into the realm of crown flash, a meteorological phenomenon so rare and elusive that it practically hides in the clouds. First scientifically described in 1885, this dazzling spectacle has kept weather enthusiasts scratching their heads for generations. We absolutely love stuff like this. Above a tumultuous thunderstorm, a bright spot emerges in the sky resembling a parhelion, or sundog. But wait, unlike its more predictable counterpart, this optical trickster shifts and twirls like a gymnast on a balance beam, captivating onlookers with its ethereal beams and loops of light. It's like a celestial disco party in the sky. While scientists are still grappling with the exact cause, they propose that it involves the realignment of a plate or needle-shaped ice crystals amidst the ever-changing field of cumulonimbus clouds during a thunderstorm. As these crystals play with sunlight, they create a crown flash fit for the fashion-forward sky. Thanks to the magic of camera phones and social media, amateur videographers have captured this elusive event, sharing their extraordinary footage with the world. We can now indulge in the awe-inspiring display of crown flash caught on camera in the wilds of Texas, United States. 
It's a spectacle that leaves us marveling at the whimsy of nature and our ability to capture its fleeting wonders. Ducks save the day. In the treacherous journey of a young penguin's first swim, fate took an unexpected twist. Don't worry, we wouldn't give you a sad penguin story. It did leave our feathery friend in a rather precarious situation though, as the eager penguin waddled toward the water. Excited about the prospect of gliding through the waves, disaster struck. Somehow it got separated from its penguin pals and found itself drifting on a lone piece of ice. For a good while, it looks like this poor penguin was out of luck, but just in time, he made it to the other sheet of ice and back to his friends. If you don't know, penguins are big on camaraderie. They're almost like humans, and in this video, you saw how everyone bands together when one succeeds. Now we'll move on from penguins to sharks. Beachgoers save the shark. On a sunny day in Perth, Australia, a group of beachgoers unwittingly found themselves cast in the role of shark-saving superheroes. As they enjoyed their day at Quinn's Rocks, their tranquility was interrupted by a sight that sent ripples of panic through the sand. A struggling shark, desperate to return to the safety of the ocean. The beachgoers sprang into action. It was a mako shark, or so they believed, its fierce thrashing and mouth-opening antics painting a picture of distress. In a scene straight out of a comedic blockbuster, a video posted on Reddit captured the chaotic yet heartwarming rescue mission. The footage showed a determined group of around seven men flexing their muscles and summoning their inner Aquaman as they pushed against the relentless waves. As the shark flailed and made feeble attempts to swim back to sea, the beachgoers harnessed their strength and channeled their inner marine biologist. With each push, they propelled the shark closer to its watery salvation, defying gravity and the odds of a successful rescue. The beachgoers, triumphant and perhaps feeling a tad invincible, dusted off their hands and shared a collective sigh of relief. They had saved the day, becoming unlikely heroes in a tale that will undoubtedly be retold with embellishments for years to come. And as the waves continue to crash against the shore, life at Quinn's Rocks returned to its idyllic pace, with a newfound appreciation for the whimsical dramas that unfold by the sea. Not for nothing, but this video kind of made us like sharks a little bit more. Walking Clams In the vast ocean of internet videos, a short but unforgettable gem emerged, capturing the attention of viewers worldwide. This extraordinary footage showcased a sight that could only be described as a comical miracle, a walking clam. The world is a crazy but incredible place, especially for this one clam. In a video that lasted mere seconds but left a lasting impression, the unsuspecting viewer was treated to the hilarious sight of a clam merrily shuffling along the ocean floor. With its tiny legs wiggling in an attempt to defy the laws of nature, the clam became an instant internet sensation. Okay, it didn't look anything like a leg, but we don't know what else to call it. In a world often filled with serious matters and dreary news, the walking clam video reminded us to find humor in the simplest of things. It taught us that even the most ordinary creatures can surprise us with their unexpected talents. So the next time you find yourself strolling along the seashore, keep your eyes peeled for the enchanting dance of a walking clam. Who knows, you might just witness a moment of hilarity that will make your day a little brighter. Next one on our list will make you look at seagulls a little bit differently. Seagulls attack. Remember that Alfred Hitchcock movie about the birds? Well, this is similar. In the wild world of social media, a Facebook video surfaced, capturing a chaotic and feather-filled frenzy on a tranquil beach. The footage showcased an unsuspecting swarm of seagulls, descending upon the sandy shores with a mission in mind, to create havoc and spread their feathered reign of terror. As the video played, viewers were treated to the hilarity of beachgoers scampering and flailing their arms fending off the aerial assault of these opportunistic avian troublemakers. It was a battle of wits and survival, as innocent picnickers transformed into masters of self-defense, armed with nothing but their futile attempts at eschewing away of the feathered marauders. Seagulls, those feathery freeloaders off the coast, have a reputation for being both audacious and opportunistic. When it comes to interacting with humans, 
They have a knack for boldly swooping in on unsuspecting picnics and snatching away sandwiches like avian thieves. With their beady eyes and squawking prowess, seagulls have perfected the art of intimidation. Shipwreck In a quirky twist of fate, the tides of Coronado, California unveiled a relic from the past that had been buried for decades. The 300 feet long SS Monte Carlo, a gambling ship from the Prohibition era, emerged from beneath the sand, captivating beachgoers and historians. This story kind of sounds like a Nicolas Cage movie. We love it. As residents marveled at the unexpected sight, local Jill exclaimed, I've lived here all my life and I had no idea it was here. It's pretty amazing. Clearly, the ship had been keeping its secrets well hidden, patiently biding its time for a grand reappearance. Here's a little history for you. Back in the 1930s, the SS Monte Carlo was a floating den of vice, a refuge for gambling and other illicit activities. Operating under the watchful eye of California's mob, it thrived in international waters, hosting casinos, dance halls, and even brothels. Leslie Crawford, from the Coronado Historical Association, shared the ship's checkered past, saying after facing pressure from the police, the ship was brought to San Diego in 1936. For a brief period, the SS Monte Carlo became a beacon of debauchery just off the coast of Coronado. However, a storm in 1937 disrupted the ship's sinful escapades, sending it adrift and eventually grounding it in its current location. The city of Coronado took ownership of the ship, but its size and cost made removal impractical. Consequently, it faded from memory, quietly decaying beneath layers of sand. Now, thanks to the whims of nature, the SS Monte Carlo has made a memorable comeback. Beachgoers can't help but marvel at this unexpected glimpse into the past, as the ship stands as a testament to a time when indulgence and prohibition collided in a battle of wits on the high seas. If this story tells you anything, it's that we don't only bring you jokes, but we can actually bring you factual information. You're welcome, Crocodile enjoying at beach. Did somebody say Crocodile? Oh right, we just did. As Amy Wade went about her noble mission of beach cleanup, little did she know she was about to witness a reptilian fashion show. On that fateful Sunday, amidst the sands of Fernandina Beach, Florida, an alligator decided to make a grand entrance. With a nonchalant saunter, the scaly intruder strutted along the shoreline, turning heads and raising eyebrows. We can't imagine a scarier situation. But Amy couldn't contain her excitement, exclaiming, so awesome to watch this guy walking around on the beach. It was a sight to behold. But as all good things must come to an end, this alligator had its own agenda. Without warning, it disappeared back into the water, leaving onlookers in awe and slightly perplexed. Perhaps it had a prior engagement, or maybe it just wanted a change of scenery. Now, let's talk about some jellyfish, large jellyfish. In Marbella, the ocean seems to have transformed into a jellyfish playground, leaving swimmers with more than just a refreshing dip. The jellyfish invasion has left a whopping 800 victims in just four days, making beachgoers more cautious than ever. 800 is a darn big number. Measuring an average of 7 centimeters, these gelatinous creatures have hitchhiked their way to the shores thanks to their mighty eastern winds. As the jellyfish sting count continues to rise, local businesses have noticed a decline in customers. It appears that tourists would rather sip their cocktails cautiously from a safe distance than risk a prickly encounter. And here we were thinking that jellyfish were just cute. Marbella's Town Hall has decided to tackle this aquatic conundrum head-on. Today, they've summoned the Fishermen's Guild for an emergency meeting to discuss an ingenious plan – jellyfish capture and relocation. Armed with ocean-friendly nets, they'll enlist the help of three small boats to apprehend the wobbly culprits. To keep beachgoers informed and prevent jellyfish-induced mishaps, the authorities have taken to flagging. While the beach flies the notorious red flag, signaling a complete swimming ban, the majority of Marbella's sandy shores are sporting yellow flags, warning swimmers to proceed with caution in the jellyfish-heavy zones. We'll never look at jellyfish the same on this channel. Dolphin Rescued 
The remote far north beach became a stage for a roller coaster of emotions as the rescue efforts for eight stranded pygmy whales unfolded. From euphoria to despair and back to cautious optimism, the volunteers and the creatures themselves took center stage in the marine drama. Sounds like something that belongs on primetime television if you ask us. But get this, when the Department of Conservation sent out a call for help, volunteers flocked to Rawawa Beach ready to lend a hand in the daring rescue mission. With determination in their hearts and a sense of purpose, the groups embarked on a mission to refloat the stranded pygmy whales, who had found themselves in an unfortunate predicament near the top of 90 Mile Beach. Cheers of jubilation filled the air as the team made progress, inching the whales closer to the water. It was a moment of triumph, filled with hope for a happy ending. However, nature had a twist in store. Amidst the ebb and flow of emotions, despair washed over the beach as the whales struggled against the odds. The volunteers, fueled by sheer determination, refused to give up. They pushed forward, adapting their strategies and rallying together in the face of adversity. Finally, cautious optimism began to resurface. The volunteers and the pygmy whales formed an unlikely alliance, united in their quest for freedom. With every step closer to the water, Hope swelled within the hearts of all involved. As the day wore on, the outcome remained uncertain. But one thing was clear. The spirit and dedication of those brave individuals would not waver. They stood strong, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead in their pursuit of saving these remarkable creatures. In this remote corner of the world, the beach became a stage for an awe-inspiring display of human resilience and the undying spirit of compassion. Huge Sperm Whale Red Car Beach witnessed a tragic yet valiant battle of man versus mammal a decade ago. It's a tale that still lives on today. The arrival of a colossal 44-foot sperm whale on the sands left locals in a frenzy to save its life. The scene was reminiscent of a blockbuster movie with the odds stacked against the stranded animal. Armed with a dash of hope, the community rallied together to assist the 35-ton behemoth in finding its way back to the ocean. It was a heroic mission fueled by a deep sense of compassion for the lost creature. Alas, despite their valiant efforts, the whale succumbed to its fate. The massive rescue operation couldn't avert the inevitable outcome. It seemed that even the combined forces of humanity were no match for the powerful forces of nature. The sight was undeniably sorrowful, a tale of loss and dashed hopes. The image of the majestic whale, stranded on Red Car Beach, became etched in the memories of those who witnessed the desperate struggle. Octopus Crawling What had eight? Oh, forget it. It's an octopus. A Twitter video went viral showcasing a remarkable octopus that clearly had a flair for dramatic exits. The footage captured the crafty cephalopod slithering its way into a hole on the beach, leaving viewers in awe of its agility and cleverness. As the octopus disappeared into the depths, it seemed to say, watch me vanish like a true magician. We found it a little creepy, to be honest. Whether it's an impossibly small crevice, a tiny jar, or even a discarded soda can, an octopus can contort its soft body to fit snugly into any space. It's like watching a contortionist at a circus, except this performer has tentacles and a knack for mischief. From hiding in plain sight in coral reefs to infiltrating underwater caves, Octopuses are the Houdinis of the sea. Their ability to adapt and squeeze into various nooks and crannies is truly remarkable. So the next time you encounter an octopus, keep an eye out for its remarkable talent. You never know where it might pop up or what surprising object it will choose as its temporary hiding spot. Just remember, if you can't find your car keys, you might want to check the nearest aquarium. We still think the whole thing is creepy though. A mysterious metal ball the mysterious metal sphere that washed ashore in Hamamatsu City had everyone in Japan scratching their heads and unleashing their wildest imaginations. Conspiracy theories ran rampant, with some suggesting it was the legendary egg of Godzilla, waiting to hatch and wreak havoc on the world. We'd love to know your thoughts in the comments about this one, because others have chimed in with more practical explanations, speculating that it could be a mooring buoy or debris from outer space. After all, who hasn't dreamed of stumbling upon an alien artifact during their beach stroll? With curiosity peaked and the local authorities not willing to take any chances, 
They called in the big guns. The police and bomb squad were summoned to investigate the enigmatic metal ball, ready to tackle any potential threat lurking within its shiny surface. As the experts gathered around the sphere, carefully examining every inch of its metallic exterior, tension filled the air. Would it turn out to be an explosive device, an extraterrestrial relic, or just a quirky beachcombing find? After what felt like an eternity, the verdict was finally delivered. It was nothing more than a mundane, albeit perplexing, piece of debris. Disappointed mingled with relief as the dreams of witnessing a real-life monster birth were shattered. Sea pickles. It's fun to say, the appearance of pyrosomes, or sea pickles, on Oregon's beaches have left locals scratching their heads and squinting their eyes. These bumpy, transparent, bioluminescent creatures are certainly not your typical beachcombing find. Take a look at them for yourself. They look like round tubes, not your usual beach inhabitants like fish or sea stars, Tiffany Booth from the Seaside Aquarium described, trying to make sense of the peculiar sight. It's like finding plastic scattered along the shore. But these pyrosomes are no ordinary plastic debris. They're colonial tunicates made up of tiny organisms called zooids. Each zooid is about the size of a grain of rice and has its own cilia for swimming. However, the movement of pyrosomes is mostly dictated by the current, leaving them at the mercy of nature's whims. So how did these tropical creatures end up on the chilly Oregon coast? Booth believes it's all thanks to the recent powerful storms, especially those originating from the south. These storms, like overzealous travel agents, have swept the pyrosomes far from their usual summer haunts and deposited them on the unsuspecting shores of Oregon. As locals marvel at these bizarre visitors, they can't help but wonder what other surprises the storms might bring. Will we find seahorses riding tiny surfboards next? Maybe dolphins wearing Hawaiian shirts? Only time will tell. But for now, Oregonians will keep their eyes peeled for more unexpected beach guests, ready to embrace the whimsical wonders that nature occasionally gifts them. Beach disappearing. Inskip Point seems to have a flair for dramatic entrances and grand exits. Just when everyone thought it had settled down after the caravan's devouring hole incident in 2015, the beach decided to make another splashy appearance. So here's the story. A large portion of the beach decided to break free from its sandy confines and take a dive into the awaiting arms of the ocean. It was a daring move, as if the beach had finally mustered the courage to join the waves it had watched from a distance for so long. Double Island Point fishing charters, always ready to add their two cents, estimated the depth of the hole at a staggering seven and a half meters. It seems the beach wanted to make a statement, a deep, profound statement about its desire for change. Geotechnical engineer Allison Goldsby, never one to shy away from expressing her opinions, pointed out that a monitoring system should have been in place. Perhaps the beach simply wanted some applause or a warning bell to ring before its grand performance. It had to settle for shocking everyone with its abrupt departure. That was definitely a story we'd never heard before. Kinder Eggs It was a sight that left the residents of Langaung craving chocolate. Us too, actually. The beach, usually adorned with seashells and the occasional seaweed, was now decked out in a vibrant display of colorful plastic balls. But these weren't just any ordinary balls. They were the coveted toy containers found in Kinder Eggs. It sounds like a movie Johnny Depp would star in. The official police account for Lower Saxony couldn't resist sharing this bizarre occurrence in the world. In a tweet that captured the curiosity of many, they revealed that thousands of these Kinder Egg containers had mysteriously washed up on the shores after a storm. Locals couldn't believe their luck. It was like a treasure trove of surprise toys had been gifted by the sea itself. Children and adults flocked to the beach armed with buckets and eager anticipation, ready to collect as many plastic orbs as they could. While the storm may have chaos in other areas, this area found itself basking in the glory of a chocolatey windfall. And who knows, maybe those Kinder Egg toys will bring a little extra magic to the lives of those who found them. After all, what's better than a surprise toy? Well, maybe a surprise toy that magically appears on a beach. Ice Tsunami the ice had a mind of its own, and it wasn't interested in waiting for winter to officially end. 
We're not talking about Frosty the Snowman here. Oneida Lake and Sylvan Beach witnessed an epic display of nature's power as massive mountains of ice were pushed onto the unsuspecting shores. Shane Muki, brave and equipped with a camera, captured this extraordinary event. The ice tsunami made its grand appearance during the first thunderstorm of the year on a fateful Saturday, March 19th. It seems Mother Nature had a mischievous sense of humor, deciding to give the residents a frosty surprise. As the ice relentlessly piled up, it must have felt like a rebellious winter rebellion against the approaching spring. The scene was both awe-inspiring and comical, as people watched in disbelief as mountains of ice towered over them. It was a true testament to the sheer force of nature, reminding everyone that sometimes the elements have a mind of their own. While the ice tsunami caused a stir, it also provided an opportunity for unique photo ops and the chance to witness an unusual natural phenomenon. After all, who needs a tropical vacation when you can have a front row seat to an icy spectacle right in your own backyard? We would have ran in the opposite direction.